Did you know that October is National Pizza Month? Yep, today our inspiration comes from pizza. This is what my pizza looks like. Now let's make yours. Here's what we need. First, we need to make our crust. Here is my round tracer. I just used a large plate. Just make sure your cardboard is big enough to fit your plate. Here I'm just tracing around my plate to get that circle. From the looks of it, my pizza is going to be a small pizza. Your pizza can be a medium, large, or even extra large if you can find a big enough of a tracer and big enough of a piece of cardboard. Afterwards, you just need to cut this piece of circle out. Cardboard is a lot tougher than paper, so you will be using a lot more power when using your scissors. So just be careful not to create so many creases or bends in your cardboard. Taking your ruler, you're going to divide this pizza crust in half. I'm just eyeballing it. Try your best to find that midpoint, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Now rotate your pizza. We are going to draw another line to create four pieces. Now rotate your pizza crust again. Go in the middle of those sections. We're creating two more lines so that we have a total of eight pieces. My slices aren't super perfect, but that's okay. So I realized it was really difficult to put together my pizza at the end because all my pieces weren't really exactly the same size. So before cutting your slices out, make sure to number your slices like this. Now let's cut the slices out. See how my cardboard sometimes make those bends and creases? Just be careful. Now that we have our slices, let's decorate our pizza. I'm using crayons, but you can use any medium that you like. Starting with a black crayon, I'm creating a rugged line for my crust. Your crust line shouldn't be smooth. I'm also going to the edges to give it some color so that you can see the end of the crust. I'm also coloring some of the areas black so that I can have that burnt look. Then I'm adding some browns. A little bit of tan. I'm trying to replicate the actual cross color. I'll even add some yellow. All those colors blended together should give me a nice crust color. Now for my first set of toppings, I'm going to create some pepperoni slices. I'm doing some round circles for my pepperoni. I'm coloring it in with that red. And then I'm going to also use my black crayon to outline just roughly around my pepperoni. It doesn't have to be super dark. With a light outlining, it just makes it easier to see. Now I'm going to add my yellow. I'm using a darker yellow, a golden yellow, for my cheese. You want to press pretty hard or use that high pressure for this yellow so that that yellow can appear on top of that cardboard color. I'm also adding my specks, just little bits of black on top of my pepperoni. And that's your first slice of pizza. And here's my second slice. It's the same process. We create our crust with those colors and then add whatever toppings that you want. This one, I'm doing bacon and mushrooms. Make sure to remember to outline your toppings and your crust to give that bold look. Here's my next slice. It's going to be bell peppers and sausage. This one is tomatoes and basil. This is one of my favorites, pineapple and ham. This one is red bell peppers and olives. This one is pepperoni and anchovies. I've never had anchovies on my pizza. Let me know if you like it. My last slice is arugula and prosciutto. And with that, I have my full pizza, each slice with different types of toppings. I can't wait to see yours to see how large your pizza is and what kind of toppings that you have. Again, choose any toppings that you want for your slices. Here are just a few to get you started. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.
Bye.